A handful of aftershocks has been recorded in the wake of Saturday's earthquake in southeast Queensland. Geoscience Australia is deploying extra measuring equipment to the region to get a more accurate picture of what's going on. More than 24,000 people reported feeling the earth move on Saturday morning. From as far north as Rockhampton to Glen Innes in the south. Since then, seismologists have been waiting to see if there'd be any aftershocks. So far, just four very small ones have been detected, but there could be more. Most of them you probably won't feel, but we could have a magnitude 4 aftershock and that will be felt by some of the people in the local region. The nearest measuring device to Saturday's quake, west of Noosa, is about 100 kilometres away from the epicentre. And so scientists are deploying half a dozen mobile instruments like these to install and more accurately measure what's going on. They send the data back live to us at Geoscience Australia so we can have our analysts here looking at them all the time and getting all that information out to the public. That gives us uh, uh, vital information to have a better understanding of uh, uh, the seismic events that occur here and also to determine the likely long-term hazard from those earthquakes. At magnitude 5.6, Saturday's event was significant. No major damage was reported, but it is the largest onshore earthquake in Queensland in half a century, just as intense as the deadly Newcastle disaster in 1989. The main street reduced to a tangled web of wreckage and rubble. The difference being the Newcastle quake rocked a highly populated area, and so the impact was far more devastating. So what should you do in an earthquake? Drop, cover and hold. Drop to the floor so you don't get knocked off your feet. Get underneath the table and hold onto the legs so the table doesn't vibrate away from you. If you're outside, you might want to be away from buildings, trees and power lines, as they're all things that can come down on you.